Hello everybody, good evening. It is evening my time at 8.22 p.m. Well, you've probably already heard uh, Biden's aid, AIDS, A-I-D-S, <laughs> is getting him ready to run. Mm-hmm. He's going to run again for president. Yeah. He's got a carrot dangling right in front of our face. Yes. If you take a bite, you know, and vote for me, you might see a stimulus check. Isn't that sweet? I hope he doesn't think we're all stupid again. Oh my, oh my. Can't you picture another two years of what we've already been through? Why would we want to go through that again? That would mean... Evidently, the border stays open. Hmm. And what else? How's he going to replace all them billions and billions and billions of dollars he sent over there to that country that was fighting the war for weapons, to buy weapons over there? Billions and billions, and he's sending more. Who's going to make up for all that money? Do I need to ask? No. God bless the working man and woman. Yeah. And you know what? When you go file your income tax and you have so many deductions and you might get a little bit back, I wonder if you really see that. Because that money's got to be replaced somehow. I don't know. I saw one headline where uh, someone was thinking about maybe just cutting Social Security completely out. And using those funds to fill in what he spent. And I'm going, oh, come on now. We have been told for years... Social Security is secure. It's in a separate account. They're not even supposed to touch it. Hmm. Well, what do you think? Is it possible? They said there should be enough money in there, I think, to last now to help the seniors uh, that have paid in taxes, that are retired. What, till... Uh, 2036 is it or somewhere in that category in that that area oh boy let me know what you think I'm gonna be interested in hearing other people that come to my channel I want to hear what you really think do you really want Biden to run again do you really want him to be our president do you really want that border to stay open or do you want a president that's got some brains and isn't pushed what I call his siblings the Congress I know who's pushing him to do this you know like I've said before and you all know this all the president does is carry a president name President Biden, President Kennedy, President Trump. Well, except for President Trump. He stood his ground. He got things done the way they should be done. He wasn't another Clinton. No. Or anybody else. You know, it's just, it, it, it's sickening. And it just makes you wonder... Why have a president? If the Congress runs everything, why do we have a president? Why do we have to go through this crap? Uh, I don't know. And who's ahead of Congress? Who is the main person? Please don't tell me it's Pelosi. Oh, please. And a vice president. Kamala Harris. Let me know what you think about Kamala Harris. Let me know what good she's done. 
maybe you read about it in the paper, maybe you read about the New York Times, the Chicago Tribune, who knows? But let me know, you know, because I could be getting things wrong, you know? I don't read, I don't get the newspaper. The only thing I get is what I get off the internet. And one person will say this, one news article will say this, another news article will say that. Now I read once today, now they're talking about giving us a stimulus and then one other news channel today said there is going to be no stimulus. And that's the part I believe in. He just wants to dangle something in front of our noses to get us interested. And his ratings have gone up. <laughs> how? Tell me, how? Yeah, please explain that to me. I welcome all. You know, I welcome every little bit of information that is positive about what Biden has done for us, what Kamala Harris has done for us. Biden's never even been to the border. <laughs> Kamala Harris I sure won't go. No, she'd rather go over to that. No, that was Pelosi. Yeah, that went over to that other country. Oh boy, they resented her for that. That country did. And China is now threatening us more so than ever before. Is there any hope at all? You don't see Biden going to China except to shake hands and make plans behind our back that we have no idea what's going on. Now that kind of floored me too when I read that the other day. And I saw the picture of him shaking hands with Ping or Pang or whatever his name is. You know, why? It, it don't make sense to me. But are we that keep this country going, the workers, the men, the women, paying taxes, working their fingers to the bone, daylight to day dark, day dusk, whatever, you know, I don't, I don't understand. They're paying their taxes. They're doing what they're supposed to do. The government says so. What are we supposed to do? We have to do what we do. You know? I just don't get it. It don't make sense to me. Now the Congress must have told Biden or told him, okay, to send all that money or was he just coerced into getting on the internet, TV, newspapers, that he okayed all that money to these countries? Or was it Congress, the Democrats? Because President, ain't, all he's got is a name. President Biden, that's all he's got. Oh, he makes speeches, but who wrote the speeches? Who told him what to say? Who prints those cards out? that stand in front of you while you're in front of a camera. <laughs> yeah. I know a little bit about that. Mm-hmm. You just don't know, do you? Let me know what you think. Leave me some comments. I want to hear others' ideas. Not just what I think, what I read. I want to know. And you know you're free to vote for whoever you want to in the 24 election. That would be 2024. But the midterms are coming up now. And he's dangling that carrot in front of us. You know? Mm -hmm. You do what you think is right. All I know for me is I sure don't want to live through another two years of this crap. No. So how's his rates going up? Who's pushing those rates up? There's another good question. I don't know. You tell me. I want to hear from you all. I welcome all the opinions. 
all the statements or remarks or whatever. Let me know how you really feel about this. And like I said, I could be wrong on some things. But I'm sitting here on disability. I get Social Security, SSI, and I can't make it through the damn month. No, I can't. I pay enough to keep a roof over my head, keep my utilities on, my water going, my internet going, because that's all I've got. I don't have a TV. No, I don't have cable. I can't afford that. That's been outrageous for years. And when you got a computer, you don't need to pay those cable prices, by the way. Get rid of your TV. You get everything you want off the internet. And CenturyLink, I found out that I could be getting uh, the internet for, what is it, nineteen ninety-five a month? But that's only for a year. Then it starts going up. But I'm on a senior program at CenturyLink. And I pay a steady $35 a month. And that is unlimited. And I will pay that until my last breath. But that's what I have. And I got my babies. And I have to fight to make sure that I have enough money left to get them food. Yep. Thank God I get food stamps. I couldn't afford groceries. And I know there's millions and thousands of you out there just like me. We're all together. I remember, and I really want to say it's true that I remember what I heard from Obama when he was going for president. And he made the remark that older people, senior citizens, retirees, they're just a waste of space. Because, like, we're done with them. We don't need them anymore. Give them what little bit will keep them sustained. Now, I could be wrong about that. But it's buried in my head. And I told somebody about it. I think I told my kids about it. Yeah. And I said, can you believe President of the United States would make a statement like that? And I'm positive he did. Now, when I get my computer working, if I ever get it working, I want to do some research and go back if I can still bring up his speeches. Somewhere in those speeches, that's what he related to. Yeah, after you retire and disabled, you're just a waste of space. That's why, and you know Obama and Biden are pretty close friends. Because mm -hmm. why? It's been over a year, hasn't it been, since we got any help at all? We not only got over the COVID virus, but now find out we're not over it. We're going to live with this for the rest of our lives. You step outside your door and you don't have a mask on, and somebody's got the virus, but they don't know it yet, guess what's going to happen? You're going to get it. It's just like a merry-go-round that never stops. Isn't that sad? Hmm. My goodness. Let me know what you think. And that's going to be it for me. God bless you. Stay safe. And let's hang in there for something. <laughs> Who knows what? You know, you know, I'm about ready to get all gussied up and go downtown and hit a bar and uh, get me a few drinks down in me and have me a smoke. Visit with other people. Get out of the house. Get away from the internet. And just to say... Well, I did get to enjoy life one night. Because other than that, what have we got? 
I enjoy my internet. I enjoy my friends on here. And that means the world to me. You know, I am so thankful for that. And I'm so thankful for the roof over my head and the utilities and stuff. Now, I just filled out papers for uh, food stamps, EBTs, and energy assistance. But one thing about the food stamps, yesterday when I talked to her, to update my living situation, she says, uh, pets, what about your pets? How'd she even know I had pets? How'd she even know that? Then I looked it up and I read, people are asking to be granted an extra EBT uh, for food for their pets. Now, if this is true, wouldn't that be wonderful? That would be something, you know. Our, our babies, our four-legged babies are our lives, you know. I don't know. Let me know. Did they say that to you? Did they ask about your pets? That's the first time in these all these years I've ever heard that. I ever saw it on paper even. But she did. She asked me, she says, what about your pets? I said, pets? And I'm going, how'd she even know I had pets? Is somebody spying on me? Hey. They got people out spying on people that are supposed to be applying for disability. They sneak up on them, sit in their cars, and they watch them. If they make the wrong move, they're done. No disability. How sad. Oh, well. Okay. Love you. Good night.